In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With you. Let us prepare our hearts to receive Jesus as we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold, in view of her, is a little sand, and before her, silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness, I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her company, and countless riches at her hands. The word of the Lord. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Be just to number our days aright that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Make us glad for the days when you afflicted us, for the years when we saw evil. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Let your work be seen by your servants. 
servants and your glory by their children. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, Indeed, the word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him and asked him, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, you are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell. He went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard is it for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God? The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus said again to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. I believe in one God. Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, and life from life, to God, to God, 
begotten God made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit he was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess for my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. For our nation on Columbus Day, that God will direct the minds and hearts of all who hold public offices to pursue peace and the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lack meaning, purpose, and proper direction in life, that Jesus will direct them close to him through his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace this week to live zealously for Christ through freedom from all materialism and sinful attachments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our parishioners be directed by the Holy Spirit to give generously to the church to their best ability. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That support for the Gumbo Festival will increase dramatically so it will be pro it will prove to be successful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That present and future storms in this hurricane season will quickly decrease in strength and flooding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of Jesus. May we always recognize Jesus in the breaking of bread and receive him into our hearts with faith. He is Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery. You make them holy, so that the human race bounded by one world may be enlightened by one faith and united in one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Let me give you a little test. What are the four cups of the Passover called in the Old Testament? Sanctification is the first one. Very good. Reminder to the people that God was holy and they were called to be his holy people. What was the second one? I hear it. Proclamation. Very good. Very good. Proclamation. The youngest male present would ask the oldest male present, what's this night all about? And they'd tell the story when I came out of Egypt. Third one, the cup of blessing. I think everyone knows that one. And it was here Jesus instituted the Eucharist, identifying the bread and wine with himself. And the fourth cup was called the cup of consummation and praise. Jesus didn't drink it until he was on the cross when he said, I thirst. And they gave him the, 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 the wine on the hyssop stick. And he said, it is finished. He bowed his head and he died. The Passover was finished. Now, you did well on that one. So let's try another one. What were the three elements in the, uh, what were the three things contained in the tabernacle of the Old Testament? Amen. The Ten Commandments, very good. The staff of Aaron and the manna, very good. There were the three things. And this light over the tabernacle, where did that originate from? From the Old Testament, the menorah. What, how many flames were there on the menorah? Seven. Very good. Very good. All right. You passed the test. <laughs> You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Louis, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the new Adam? Jesus. Okay, Jesus. And where is the new tree of life in this church? The crucifix. So look at the crucifix now. Remember, that's how much God loves you. Jesus Christ gave his life that we may have eternal life. So let us pray with confidence. Our Father, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.